I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Beaumont Hospital alerting nearly 1,200 patients who've had their medical and personal information compromised. The hospital says an employee at the Dearborn location may have provided patients information to another person working for a personal injury attorney. Now this includes names, addresses and birth dates as well as medical history and social security. Now this happened between February 2017 and October 2019. The employee was let go and police they are now investigating. And police are investigating a drive by shooting that killed a man in Detroit. It happened at around 830 last night on Robson and Fenkel. Police say the victim was at a stop sign in a black Dodge Durango. A white vehicle pulled up beside him and bullets started flying. No word on what led up to the shooting and if the victim knew the suspects. Call Detroit police with information. Police investigating a crash that killed a 68 year old man in Bloomfield Township. It happened just before 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon and police say he was speeding in a 2007 Chevy Impala going east on Walnut Lake. They say he ran a red light at Franklin and drove into a series of trees. If you have information on this, call Bloomfield Township Police. Let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. Looking at some colder temperatures for tonight, we're going down to around 32 degrees. We'll climb to a high of 36 for Sunday, but the opportunity for some snow showers will be passing through. We can actually pick up a quick half inch of snow on Sunday. Once we get towards Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, each day are going to be in the mid 30s. Just a few opportunities for some flurries for Monday and Tuesday. But outside of that, another week above average. All right, my thank you. Dozens of puppies and dogs from North Texas. They are in Metro Detroit now hoping to find forever homes. The group of more than 60 animals, they arrived at Willow Run in Ypsilanti this evening. The Michigan Humane Society and Wings of Rescue brought the dogs here from overcrowded and high risk shelters in hopes to find loving families. And they are expected to be ready for adoption by the end of the week. Those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a great day.